All right, what we're doing today is a buddy of mine bought this 331 Bobcat excavator. It's a 95, and somebody has switched the pattern on it, the previous owner, to cat controls. And him, much like me, don't run their machines that way. So on these, they don't have a switch where you can just switch the pattern. So we got to find the hoses that they've switched on the pilot lines from the controls there should be two of them one of them is your lift and the other one is your crowd and we're going to switch those back and change the pattern and couldn't find any information on this really other than people say you got to trace everything down and change the hoses so we're going to figure out which hoses they are we're going to show you that way if you have a machine like this you can do the same thing uh, maybe you want the cat controls the bobcats are set up with like the john deere controls um, so we're going to track them down and we'll show you exactly which ones you need to switch um, zach's already taken the floorboard out and this other panel that goes under the seat um, so we have access to the valve bank these are the pilot lines i'm suspecting somebody's got these zip ties on here I'm suspecting that probably has something to do with what they switch. So we're going to track some stuff down here and see if we can figure that out. Okay, we think we've got this figured out what we need to change. Uh, it looks like this first uh, spool here, uh, which there is one next to it, I guess. This one here is the lift. That's the lift hoses. Okay. This is the crowd hoses. Um, so you can either, you can do this two ways. I guess you could switch these um, big hoses across. What we're gonna do is we're gonna switch the pilot line. So it'd be this line and this line here, which looks like there's a lot of slack here because it originally would have been over here. And this one's got a big U in it here. It would have been over here. Uh, the back ones aren't as fun to get to but you can get to them back down under here. So let me do them first. It's kind of a toss up which way you want to do it. If you want to change the big hoses because they're going to leak more. Uh, it's a little tight getting a wrench down in there to get on those when you got these other big lines in the way. So we're going to start getting those loose and see what happens. Yeah. Well, I think he gets a battery in it. It'll be good to go. Somebody's painted this. It's a clean machine for a 95. I think it's got, uh, what'd you say? 
15, just under 1,600 hours on it. Pretty sure that's original. Uh, it hasn't been all beat up. Like I said, it's been painted. Uh, whoever painted it, they did a good job. It looks like they used nice paint and everything. Had a lot of the hoses replaced. I think he's ordered a thumb for it, and I don't know what else. But he should be able to operate it now. I think you guys out there have one of these machines, the 331s, and uh, you've run into any kind of problems with them, maybe let me know in the comments. I've done a lot of work on the one um, that we have at work. And uh, so I've been around the machine a few times. I've put uh, 2,600 hours on the 97 at work and it's still still running great we've replaced a lot of the hoses on it a lot of those pilot lines they start leaking they're not high pressure but they seem to be the ones that dry rot the worst right off the bat um, when they get this age uh, so I put a lot I think I've replaced all of them on that machine um, we've got a new one at work we got a 2023 E35 Platinum Edition and you'll see it on some upcoming videos and we've already had it on on a couple main breaks uh, Platinum Edition you'll have to look that up uh, it's got everything on it I mean it's a really nice machine heated seat heat and air uh, backup camera which is I don't know kind of silly on a machine that small uh, zero tail swing we got the hydraulic uh, quick attach angle blade um, Bluetooth radio works with your phone uh, it's just really nice uh, but you'll see it on some upcoming videos um, doing some stuff at work so I think uh, we'll stop there I'll try to keep this one short because a lot of people aren't going to be watching this for entertainment value they're going to be stumped just like uh, a lot of people probably are trying to figure out what they need to do to switch the pattern on these machines so Anyway, thanks for watching.